Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, we're going to go over the differences between git fetch and git pull. And I promise you, it's going to be very easy. All right, so I have this folder here called my project. And inside there's a project called demo. All right. And on GitHub, I also have that same project demo. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a change inside of the demo project on GitHub. So I have a text file here, but it's empty. Okay. Same thing in the local version. Okay. It's the same text file. And it's also empty. Okay. So these are in sync. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a very important message here. Okay. Subscribe to Programming Peanut. All right, so I will commit these changes. All right, okay, cool. So the GitHub version of this demo project now has two commits compared to the local version, which only has one, okay? So two and one. All right, so git fetch is used when you want to download all of the updates or the, ch the changes from GitHub, okay? Now, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll type in git fetch, and we'll press enter. Okay, now it's gonna ask me for my passcode, all right? Okay, cool. So we've downloaded that this change here that we made this subscribe to programming peanut commit okay all right so we downloaded that commit and if we open up our local version of this my code text uh text file you'll see that it's still empty so what's going on i thought we downloaded those changes you see when you use git fetch you do download those changes but they are in a different branch. They're not in this branch here where we originally made the changes, right? So if you do git branch a, you'll see that we have the main branch. And then we have something here called remotes origin main. Now this one here, this is the version that's on GitHub. Okay. Now check this out. Since we're on main, we're not going to see that change, right? But if we do git checkout remotes slash origin slash main, okay, if we do that, now it's going to say that you're in a detached head state and all that, you know, don't get nervous about this. Don't get nervous about this here either. Just know that you are on the GitHub branch, okay? Now, if we refresh this file, you'll see that that change is now there. So you're probably asking yourself, okay, we download the changes, but they're on a separate branch. What good is that for? Well, people use get fetch whenever they want to download the changes and just look around, okay? You can look around, see what changes have been made. Uh, you know, if, you know, you could see how, um, how they work with the code that you already have locally. It's basically to just look around and see what changes uh, were basically were downloaded. Okay. That's, that's all you would really use get fetch for. Now, if you're saying, okay, I like these changes. These are good. How can I put them in my main branch? Okay. Well, that's easy. That's when that's when you would use git pull. Okay? Cuz git pull here, let me go back to regular main. Okay? So we'll do git checkout main, okay? If I refresh this text file, you'll see that it's it's back to empty, right? Okay? Now, if I do git pull, of course it's going to ask you for the password. Okay? Now what git pull does, not only does it download the changes from GitHub, but it also merges them onto the branch, meaning, you know, whatever branch that you're working on here. 
Okay, so if I refresh this text file, you'll see that the change is now there. Okay, all right, so hopefully that answered a lot of questions. And uh, yeah, that's all for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Thanks.